welcome again. This is uh, Red Hat Dan on tech. Uh, this week uh, we're at uh, DevConf. We're on, on location, as they say. And I'm here with uh, Urbishi, who has uh, worked with me for about uh, six, seven years now. And uh, she's one of the uh, chief, um, basically run the uh, person running this sh the show um, at Boston University in Boston. And Cedric's also joining us. Uh, uh, so today is day, really, this is day one, although there was a day zero yesterday. So we start counting at zero with the DevConf. Um, but yesterday was a special day. Um, and it was kicked off with the AI day. Or um, So you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so yesterday was day zero, as Dan mentioned. We had, a, it's called, it was called AI Think Tank. Uh, the idea behind it was we wanted to get people in the AI world together in one room to have some really imp important conversations about what's happening in the AI space. As we all know right now, the AI space is really exploding and there's a lot to do in it. And given that you know we're such an open source focused company, we wanted to see if we could have those hard conversations around AI and open source, um, how to be responsible with it, how to democratize it. Um, so yeah, so we put together this small invite only event, invited um, people from you know various companies, various organizations that are involved in AI and had a lot of discussions and engagement around that. And the really cool thing is uh, we had Kelsey Hightower who, uh, if you don't know, is of Kubernetes fame and he's a major influencer on Twitter. Um, and he came and he talked about his, his ideas and he really kicked off the whole conversation. And a lot of his uh, talks was you know, basically trying to say that there's a human factor and then there's a machine factor and we, sh we should never lose the sight of that. And a lot of it was around you know, thinking of AI as a tool as opposed to this all-knowing being. And uh, so I found that very interesting. Um, you know, and then, as I said, we broke into three different sessions. Yes. Um, so we had three topics throughout the day, uh, open source and transparency in AI, democratizing AI and responsible AI. And then we had three breakout sessions where we divided the attendees into those sessions to have further, deeper uh, discussions on those. And the three different rooms had three different themes. One was clarify and define, where you are clarifying what the problem is, um, you know, defining where we are, defining where we want, we want to be going, and having discussions around that. The other one was progress and decide, where um, you know we wanted to try and shift the needle a bit to see if we can make any progress in figuring out all of these you know, crazy things happening with AI. So that room was focusing on that. And the third room was solve and experiment, experiment and solve, um, where we basically carry out an experiment from scratch to see if we can take it all the way to production. Basically, you just have you know hypothetical situations and tests going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, uh, basically, then the room we would get back together, discuss what we um, came up with some concepts, and then we go over a different topic um, over the all AI, and then break up again, and then. But each time, the different people go to different rooms. So we wanted to like, make sure that we had everybody working together. And uh, at, at the end of the day, I think we, you know, came up with some ideas. And, you know, I think um, you know, about the importance of, of using OpenShift for this. I think a lot of us came up with, uh, you know, there's a lot of democratization problems right now, mainly around cost. So, you know, in my opinion, there's going to be hundreds of thousands of different AI models out there. But how does how does poorer people or poorer companies train models um, and how do they put them together and, and I'm hoping that over time that um, you know, that the cost of training comes down um, but you know we're not sure what's going to happen so um, any other comments anything you saw yeah before? and another major theme was basically how do we make AI models more inclusive like where, where do we get our data from can we include you know everyone globally or is it just data that's coming from a few countries that doesn't apply to everyone else right um, so I think a pretty common theme that was there during the day was we all kind of agreed on the fact that yes we don't have you know we don't have solutions to all these various uh, you know, questions and various topics uh, that we were all kind of on the same boat where uh, we do not think that AI is the solution to all your problems. <laughs> um, I think almost everyone in the room agreed with the fact that it is a tool to be used and we had to be conscious about how we use it, um, how we make sure we're doing good and not any harm. Yeah, one of the concerns I had coming out with it is, is people are very quick to do, try to do regulation and, and try to control it. Um, and in my opinion, that's, you know, 
just going to be um, not not successful. And so, what I would prefer is that we train people and people to understand that you know you you need to t teach it, treat treat it like a tool, um, but make sure that you always you know verify any of its outputs and, and try to um, make sure that you know you're not using it in, in total situations where you totally rely on the AI because of hallucinations and things. And maybe eventually it'll improve. So now we come to day day zero. Well, today is day one of of DEFCOF, and uh, we move over to the uh, lovely Boston University, where Irvishi is an alumnus. Uh, so let's talk about what happens today so far. Yep. So, so far we had our keynote um, at, in the morning. That was by Kelsey Hightower. It was a fire, fireside chat. Um, so one of the, the other co-organizers, Sally, she was the one asking questions to Kelsey. Um, questions were around, you know, his journey in open source so far. Um, uh, any advice he has to give to the you know new generation, people who are still in school or just beginning their careers, um, and just when we had a bunch of uh, questions from the audience, also around like how we can make open source even more inclusive than it already is. So it seems like the theme has been like open source AI, including everyone, and just you know being nice to each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, after that, we've had a bunch of sessions happen so far. We have workshops going on in parallel. We have more of that coming. Uh, we have this containerization guild gathering happening today. It's kind of this informal discussion about talking about everything containers. Uh, I believe Dan and I will be also yes. having discussions there later on today. And we have a pretty packed schedule for the next three days. Tomorrow's keynote is by Jen Krieger on operations and AI. And our third day keynote is a student and intern showcase. Um, DevConf is created for beginners, and we want to highlight you know, all the amazing things that our next generation is doing. So we have this collaboration with UMass Lowell, where students do projects over the summer, and we highlight them. And a few Red Hat interns also that were interning in the Boston office over summer, we are highlighting some of their projects. Yeah, so, so I, I actually went to a couple of uh, talks today. One of them was uh, done by Cedric uh, on Podman Desktop um, and, and Podman. And uh, other than a few uh, internet uh, hiccups, uh, I went pretty well. Do you want to talk about your session? Yeah, and I just want to say I, I definitely agree with the theme is that, that you know there's a lot of newcomers to, to, to tech and to open source software. And especially right now, it can kind of seem like a hard market to get into, it can be tough to get jobs and, and, and that of the like, but what's really amazing is that the open source community is really open arms approach to uh, welcoming people. And yesterday at the Day Zero event, there was a lot of students that I talked to. Uh, and today there's a lot of students and now I know about the, uh, the intern projects and also the sh student so showcase. So I think that's really good is that we're kind of bringing forth the next generation of people who are going to create so much change in the future, uh, and that's true to the DEF CONF theme. Um, my talk today was a little bumpy at the beginning, but it was on Podman and Podman Desktop and um, showcasing the AI lab, some of the bootable containers, um, and it's really amazing how many, I think over 60 sessions yep. are, in, are in the conference? We have like 80. 80? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that including like the containerization guild? It, yes, including that. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, you guys definitely pack a lot into the schedule yeah. uh, for you know, DevCon. A lot of them are going to be recorded too, right? Yeah, so all the sessions are going to be recorded and uploaded to our YouTube channel um, after the conference is over. So I guess if you go to DevConf US, you can follow the links. Um, by the time you see this video, uh, DevConf US will be over. Uh, but hopefully we'll be scheduling another one of these uh, next year about yes. the same time. Yes, hopefully. And we're always looking forward. And, and obviously, if you're in uh, Europe and want to go to you know a great conference there, it's called DEFCOF Czech. Um, and that usually happens at the beginning of the summer around June time frame. And that is also a very awesome conference. So hope to see you at the conferences next year. And uh, thanks for joining us. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Dan.